49er fans, I'm Thomas Mott. Welcome into Chat Sports. Today's video is brought to you guys by Manscaped. Go to manscaped.com slash 49ers for 20% off your first order plus free shipping. The link will be down below right now in our description box. All right, Niner fans, let's jump in the latest 49ers news and rumors, and let's just go straight into this tweet. How about this tweet right here? The tweet that really broke 49er internet over the weekend. It's from Ian Rappaport, and it, uh, you know, sums up the draft as best as we possibly can. Quote, the hashtag 49ers close in on their decision of which quarterback to take at number three. Sources say they are down to two prospects. And the belief is those two are Bama quarterback Mac Jones and North Dakota State quarterback Trey Lance. Several sources say the focus does appear to have shifted to those two, end quote. Here we are, right? And then there were two, as they say. So it looks like we're down to the final two quarterbacks, and one of them is not Justin Fields, which goes against everything I have been saying for a very, very long time. I said it for forever. It's like, I want Justin Fields. I think Fields is going to be the guy. They were doing the second pro day with him and the private workout, and yet here we are. The sources are saying they are not going to go ahead and get Justin Fields. And honestly, I think the answer to this is it's time to start falling in love with Mac Jones. Like, I mean, we're going to talk about it in a second, but it, it, it's it's time to start falling in love with Mac Jones. Whether you want to or not, you must force yourself to because that seems to be the way we are leaning right now. Give me your one-word reaction to this, right? One word down below, what's your reaction to this, uh, the, the idea that it is Mac Jones or Trey Lance? I'm going to say surprising is my one word, although is it that surprising, though, because we have heard a lot of love for Mac Jones and Trey Lance, so not sure. Give me your one-word reaction uh, down below right now. Here's the deal. The 49ers are taking Mac Jones at number three overall. I'm, I'm, I'm finally going to admit it. They're taking Mac Jones at number th three overall because there's been too much reporting that it's true. There's been way too much reporting that it's true. Are reporters wrong? Yes, all the time. Can the teams put out smoke screens? Yes, all the time. Could this be a smoke screen and they end up taking Justin Fields? Yes, that happens all the time, and it could happen in this sort of situation. However, I am changing my mind. I'm officially putting all my cards on the table for Mac Jones. Do I like Mac Jones over Justin Fields? No, I don't. Do I trust Kyle Shanahan to know more than me at the quarterback spot? Yes, I do. And that's and that's and that's what I, I will sleep easy if they draft Mac Jones on Thursday night with the third overall draft pick with that one thought in my mind that Kyle Shanahan knows what he's doing. And listen, the tape breakdown of Mac Jones is still great. I think he's a great quarterback. I think he has all the tools. I think the hope here that he is going to be just as good as Justin Herbert was his first year. I put Justin Herbert in the Kyle Shanahan system with that defense, and they could have won some serious football games. That's the thought process here. But I am done fighting. The idea that Mac Jones is going to be the quarterback of this football team. I think he is. And even though, you know, you think, well, is it better than Garoppolo? It's a pocket passer. Fields is right there. I mean, enough, right? Like, like, like what else are we supposed to say? It clearly is going to be Mac Jones. I don't buy into the Trey Lance discussion because if it would have been Trey Lance, then you would just take Justin Fields, right? Trey Lance and Justin Fields are very similar overall in their play style, in their build. Well, there's just one big difference, right? It's that... One played for Ohio State, and the other played for North Dakota State. So if you're going to decide between the, between the two, Ohio State has got to go ahead and be the pick. So again, it's Mac Jones. It's 100% Mac Jones. It was probably always Mac Jones, and I have been wrong for weeks saying it'd be Justin Fields. And you know what? I admit it, and I'll just go ahead and accept whenever they draft Mac Jones at number three. Now, again, my hope is that they're right on Justin Fields, right? I hope that they are right on Justin Fields. And when I say that, I hope that not that Justin Fields has a bad career, but I hope that we don't look back 10 years from now and go, wow. They traded up three first-round draft picks and took the wrong quarterback. That's my hope, right? The hope is that they are right, that Mac Jones is the better fit than Justin Fields, and we'll look back 10 years from now and know the answer. That's the only way to do it, right? Systems matter, and where you get drafted matter, and which guy takes here, and the players around you, blah, blah, blah. 10 years from now, I'm still doing this channel. Who knows, right? I mean, it'll be 10 years, a long time. I'll be 20, what, 30, I'll be 35 years old in 10 years. We'll be able to look back and say who was right and who was wrong, and I just hope that we will look, look back and be straight up saying, listen, they were right about Justin Fields. They got the right guy in Mac Jones, and he's won multiple Super Bowls. He's the best quarterback ever, right? The thought process here is that Mac Jones is just going to be a better overall college, or not a better college, but a better, better overall pro, and whether you believe it or not is irrelevant now because it's up to Kyle Shanahan. It's up to John Lynch, but for weeks we talked about how they weren't sure. We don't know who they're going to take. We know now. It's going to be Mac Jones, and I would put my reputation reputation behind it. I put all my money behind it right now. If I was a betting man, which of course I'm not, you know, we bet, I'm not getting betting money on this, but I'm saying Mac Jones is, is going to be the pick and it's time for all 49er fans to go ahead and jump on the Mac Jones train, whether you want to or not, whether we're dragging you, kicking or screaming, or whether you're hopping on willingly because some of you guys like him, right? And I'm, I'm impartial, right? It's fine. If I'm saying it's happening, then that, it, just get over it, right? It's going to happen. Okay. Pick one though. 
Because again, technically it's down to two, even though I keep saying it's Mac Jones, but technically it could be Lance or Mac Jones. Which one do you guys want? Mac Jones, type J down below for him. Type L down below for Lance. Uh, you probably should be typing MJ though or typing J down below because Jones is most likely going to be the choice. Okay, before we go ahead and keep going again, big shout out to our sponsor here at Manscaped. Manscaped.com slash 49ers is your one-stop shop for 20% off your first order plus free shipping on a bevy of products. I've been using the Manscaped stuff for months now, and I've been talking it up so much to my roommate. He's finally went ahead and bought some of his own, loves it as well. Absolutely fantastic. The Lawnmower 3.0, the 8-hour battery, which lasts, honestly, a lot longer than 8 hours because you don't trim for 8 straight hours, right? It lasts for days, essentially. And then, of course, you have the light, and then all the different products they have in terms of the tone the deodorants, everything can come in the one package called the Perfect Package. All of their products and more right now, 20% off plus free shipping. Go to manscaped.com slash 49ers. The link will be down below me right now in the description box, or you just search it above me, right? Just go to Google and type in manscaped.com slash 49ers. That way you get the discount and all their great products as well. Okay, I know I'm going to get tweets about it, so why don't we just discuss it right now, right? There's no technical sourcing on the 49ers with this player, but this player is now available, and so I'm sure we'll get tweets asking, and so let's just discuss it, right? So Julio Jones, on the move. Did you see this, right? There is this new report that Julio Jones is, um, I mean, being shopped, right? There's an Ian Rappaport retweet saying essentially that the, uh, the Falcons know they're in a cap situation, and Julio Jones is costing way too much, and so teams are calling. The report does not say that the Falcons are calling teams. The teams are calling, Fal are calling the Falcons about trading for wide receiver Julio Jones. Now, the official thing on this is very interesting because you can't trade Julio Jones till after June 1 due to the whole cap breakdown and the way the dead money works out. And so you could not essentially trade him this weekend and get, you know, a 2021 first-round draft pick in return. So if you wanted to go ahead and trade for Julio Jones, you're giving up next year's draft capital in order to go ahead and do it. Now, just because you can't trade for him until after June 1st does not mean you can't put a deal together today, right? So you could essentially see reporting from Rappaport or, or Schefter or whoever else saying that the Niners have agreed to a trade with the Falcons for, you know, a 2022 second or whatever. It will become effective in June June 2nd, but is officially official, right? So that's how it basically breaks it all down. The problem with the Julio Jones trade, and we'll talk more about this in a second, the cap hit is still a lot. Like he has a $24 million cap hit this year. He has $20 million in cap hit each of the next two years, not spread out. I mean, each of the next two years. And so, I mean, rightfully so, Atlanta's trying to go ahead and free up some space. The issue, though, like we said with the cap hit, is if the Niners want to go ahead and trade for him, you got to you got to restructure his deal. Like, I think that's the only way that Julio Jones gets moved is if, one, a team just has so much cap space, like a Jacksonville Jaguars, that they'll just eat the money, who cares? Or two, Julio Jones really wants to be a 49er and says to the Niners via his agent, hey, make a trade for me, I'll restructure the deal guaranteed, and then you restructure his contract to make it a lot more team-friendly. But that would mean Julio Jones would take a pay cut, which I just don't think he's going to be willing to go ahead and do. Now, before I read you Peter King's thoughts on this, and they are very interesting, got a long quote coming up in just one second. Make sure you guys are subscribed, not only to our channel here on the 49ers Report for nonstop draft updates leading up to the draft and beyond if a Julio Jones trade were to happen, but also subscribe to our main Chat Sports channel, youtube.com forward slash Chat Sports TV, because that's where we will be for all all, all seven rounds, every single pick live on our 40, on our, excuse me, Chat Sports live draft show. I'll be a part of that, breaking down the Niners picks when they when, when they happen in the first round. And so make sure you guys are subscribed to both channels, including us here, for nonstop action leading up to what is days away, which is crazy, the April 29th NFL draft. Okay, Peter King's thoughts quickly here. Quote on the Julio Jones trade. Quote, I can't predict any bombshells, but a few things would not surprise me. Most notably, the Falcons putting the framework of a trade together for star wideout Julio Jones and making the trade effective June 2nd. That way, Atlanta could split Jones' cap charge between 2021 and 2022 instead of getting bashed with it all this year. So if a trade happens, I expect it could involve a future pick or picks. Nothing this year. A future second-round pick as compensation seems in, uh, seems fair to me, but such a trade wouldn't be official till June. No picks in this draft could be involved. End quote. Which of course goes on to you know what I just said, right? You 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 can't trade something this year because he is happening. He can, he's traded officially after June first. My question really is: Do the Niners need Julio Jones? Right? Not do the Niners want Julio Jones? Because every single football team in the NFL would like Julio Jones, right? I like Julio Jones on my football team, but do they need Julio Jones? Would he make them better? Yes. But I'll be honest, the current wide receiver depth chart is great. I like Debo Samuel. I obviously love Brandon Ayuk. Hopefully Jalen Hurd is going to be healthy. Maybe Richie James pops like he did in a couple of those games later on in the year. But adding Julio Jones would increase their effectiveness, yes. But why not just get a rookie wide receiver in rounds two or three if you think they really need a wide receiver who can, you know, 
turn out to be really good, right? He won't be Julio Jones because he's fantastic. But what if you get a receiver in round two who's 70% of Julio Jones? 70%. Still pretty great. And he's on a rookie contract. I mean, a second round contract for a rookie wide receiver is so cheap for the next four years, it's laughable. Like, it's it's literally nothing, and it's pennies on the dollar compared to what Julio Jones would go ahead and cost. So why not just get somebody in the draft instead of spending not only draft capital in the future, but a lot of money, whether he restructures his contract or not, to acquire Julio Jones? Again, I would like him. And if the Niners were to put together a trade for it, I'd be like, sick. I mean, that'd be really cool, right? You mean, but Mac Jones, who will be the quarterback, talked about that, along with Debo, Brandon Ayuk, and Julio Jones— plus their running game, plus their offensive line, plus their defense. I mean, how do you, I mean, plus George Kittle, how do you stop that? I, I have no idea, right? I mean, opposing defensive coordinators would just be blowing them, blowing their minds trying to figure out how to do it. But I just don't think it's possible. And so even though we like the idea, we can dream about the idea, I do not see the Falcons uh, sending him to San Francisco for one or the Niners being interested in acquiring that much in cap space. Uh, what do you guys think? Should the 49ers trade for Julio Jones? Type Y down below for yes. Type N down below for no. Be a pinned comment down below me. Go ahead and give me an answer to that one as I don't think that they will, but should they is a different question. So give me your answer and response down below right now. Okay, before we go ahead and end again, make sure you guys are subscribed because I'm telling you, as stuff happens, draft stuff happens, post-draft reaction, I mean, we got you guys covered here, right? Full breakdowns. It's all free, and it's the best place to go ahead and get one-stop shop for everything regarding the 49ers. As Chase Sr. and myself will be keeping you guys ready to rock and up-to-date here on the channel. I appreciate all these subscribers. We've done a lot of draft talk. It's finally the week of the draft, and now we can kind of sit back and keep you updated on rumors, but really wait for the main course, which will be actual draft picks less than four days away as we get closer to the Thursday start of the 2021 NFL Draft. Ultimately, I'm going to date here the 49ers report for Chats Wartime. Thomas Mott signing off for the rest of your day.